This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this dripping paint text effect using GIMP. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here with GIMP. By the way, if you'd like to know how you can update GIMP with these, uh, this updated interface here, I'll have a link to that information in the description of the video. So the first thing we're going to do is open up an image of the sunset here that I've linked in the description as well. I'm going to go ahead and open this up with, with GIMP and we'll be good to get started. And I want to come over here to our colors over here and I just want to flip this around so that white's the foreground. And I'm going to grab the text tool and click on the canvas over here so I can create some text. Now the font I'm going to be using is a font called Milkshake, but any kind of cursive or hand uh, hand lettering uh, style of, of font should work just well, just as well. So I'm just going to... Um, use a capital letter L. Maybe I'll make that a little smaller. You can control the size over here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Make the font a little smaller. And I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm going to place this letter over this portion of the sky over here. We want where the letter, the space that the letter is taking up, we want that space to be going over a portion of the sky where we're getting a nice sample, a nice sample of different colors. Like we're getting different shades of pink and purple in here. And I think maybe I'll grab some of that in there as well. That right there is a good positioning. Once we've done that, uh, I'm going to right click on this text layer and go to uh, alpha to selection. And then I'm going to turn off the visibility of this layer by uh, clicking that eye. And then I'll come over here to this layer here, our, our image, and I'm going to duplicate that. Whereas, well, actually, first, I want to right click on that and where it says add alpha channel, make sure you click on add alpha channel. If it's grayed out like it is on my screen, that means you already have one. You're good to go. So once we've done that, uh, I'm going to click this button over here that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And I'm going to come over here to the bottom original layer and I'll turn off the visibility of that. We're just going to want a duplicate layer of this image we're working with in case we go too far down the rabbit hole as far as um, undoing goes. And it's, it's just always good to have a duplicate copy of that handy. So. Uh, once we've done that, I'm going to have this layer selected, the one that's visible, and I'll go to Select, Invert, and once I've done that, I'll press Delete on the keyboard, and it's going to delete everything out of there, except for this letter L. And what I'll do now is I'll go to Select, None, and I'm going to grab the Move tool, and I'm just going to position this towards the center of the page. And then I'll go to Layer, uh, Layer to Image Size. And once I've done that, I'm going to go to Filters, Distorts, and Eye Warp. And that's going to open up this other panel here. And what I want to do is I just want to make this nice and big so I can see that better. Now it's going to appear blurry and pixelated once you enlarge it, but we're, it's, it's, it's going to correct itself once we start um, editing it. So. Once we've done that, where it says deform radius, I'm going to make this about 27. This really depends on the size of the image you're using. I use the largest image from the download site, Pixabay. So I'm going to use 80, uh, 27. And for the deform amount, I'm going to use 80. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the cursor down the uh, center stroke of this letter right here. And I'm just going to click and drag like that to distort the image that creates the letter L there. And if you notice here, what it did is it, 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 it kind of dragged it through and made, a, made it kind of look like it was dripping paint. And that's pretty much the gist of what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to go through this entire letter and do what you saw just there. I'm going to go through here like this. Have this one go across. And it's you might want to be very careful and take your time with this because when you're working in this menu here, there's no undoing anything. There's no if you if you make a mistake and it comes out wrong, you're gonna to have to just hit cancel and do it again. So that's unfortunately that's uh, that's one downside to using this method. But otherwise, this is a good way to accomplish this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and alter this like that. And if you notice, as you're applying the effect, the image becomes less blurry and more visible. So uh, that's that's another positive here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. And you might want to, uh, you could go ahead and like change like the, uh, the radius here. Like I noticed the radius I'm working with is, is a little too big. I'm going to bring that down to 15, see how that looks. That's good. If you notice, I'm getting some negative space in there, which is uh, not exactly desirable, but I guess it does look a little natural. So I'll just continue working with this as it is. Bring this through there like that. And 
And that's pretty much, um, let me just correct this a little bit. That's pretty much the idea here. The, the, the real trick to making this work is, is grabbing these other colors and making them run into each other nice and fluidly like that. I'll do the same thing over here. And one final thing we could do is we could add little drips at the bottom of it to make it look like it's dripping. Like I'll come over here and I'll just pull out the edge a little bit like that and it, it creates like a little bit of a drip. I'm sorry I can't give you a better view of this. If I could zoom in further, I would. But unfortunately, with this extension, this eye warp uh, tool here, this is the best. This is about as, as good as I can do for you as far as this tutorial goes. I'll just put little drips down there and up here. Maybe another one up here like that. Uh, maybe another one down here. Maybe a tinier one. Put one over here. And once you're finished, you can go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, it created sort of like this, this, this dripping paint sort of style of lettering. And what I want to do now, so you could see it better, I'm going to put a background behind this. So I'll click this button that says create a new layer and add it to the image. And I'm just going to choose white as the background, the layer fill type. I'll choose white, go ahead and click OK. I want to click and drag that beneath the original layer. And that pretty much does it for this tutorial. You notice here, um, there's a little bit of negative space within the letters, but if you want, you could really take your time when you're in the eye warp menu, making sure you iron all of that out. That could be that could be brushed out with the um, within the eye warp tool. I kind of just did this in a rudimentary fashion to keep the video at a, an appropriate length. So that's pretty much how you can go about that um, using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.